What's good, team? It's Kwan. It's your girl, Sajid. And it's your boy, Kwan. It's Together One Unstoppable. And Unbreakable. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, Rissa and I just want to sit down and talk to you guys and give you guys a little update on what's been going on in our lives. So where we left off, we were on vacation in Miami for my birthday. And uh, Rissa surprised me with a birthday party with some of our friends. We had a lot of fun. I absolutely loved it. I was completely in shock. We had such a wonderful night. Unfortunately, the following day, we woke up to some horrible news. Yes, so that following day was like really rough for me. And honestly, guys, this is gonna be like really hard for me to talk about right now. I don't know. And I'm not gonna go into full detail, but I don't know. I feel like maybe me just sitting down and talking to you guys actually might make me feel better in the long run. But um, so like Juan said, the following day after the birthday party, we received some really like uh, horrible news. We ended up flying back to New York and the following day after we found out and as soon as we touched down in new york we went straight to the hospital and pretty much every day after that we were up at the hospital leading up to today and there's just been like a lot of things going on in the middle of that like this has been like a really stressful time it has been horrible leading up to god calling my cousin home if you guys follow both of us on instagram then you guys will you know get an idea of what's been going on but yeah i just feel like we need to just sit down and talk to you guys um a lot of you guys have been checking in on me and like just wanting to know how i'm doing and i really appreciate that because it's really made all the difference like you guys have no idea like all the love and especially my family too not just me but all of us are going through a very difficult time you know i've just been feeling like I can't even explain what I'm feeling right now. I feel so numb and this is something that I have never felt in my entire life. I have never went through an experience like this in my entire life with someone so close and dear to me. So I really just don't even know what to do or how to move forward right now truthfully and I'm just happy that I have a really good support system because times like this can be like really hard and it's easy to fall into a really dark place it's like yeah. the weirdest thing it's like i'll have like ups and downs it feels like a roller coaster like there's times where i could sit down and like look back on memories and just smile and like cry happy tears and then there's times where i am like at like really bad lows and i just want to curl up in a ball and just cry all day you know what i'm saying yeah. but honestly just being like around family right now has been really good and just trying to stay busy you know like go outside and like do stuff to keep my mind off of things and stuff like that this has been like a really hard time for me and yeah, i know <laughs> it's been hard for me as well because like we're one so our family is one together so you know it hurts me the same way and i've just been trying to be as supportive as i can uh and just be there for rissa and mm -hmm. just hold her up and make sure that she's okay and she's feeling okay and just being there every step of the way um it's been extremely tough for all of us and we're just taking it day by day i guess that's all you can really do that's, that's what the most you could do everyone says and like i just I know how it feels. You know. I know. I just cannot believe that, you know, this is something that even you have experienced already, yeah. which is just so crazy. Like, I feel like you guys are so strong just after going through something like this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just basically am just going to be taking it day by day. Like I said, this is something extremely like close to home right mm -hmm. now and that I've never experienced before. A lot of you guys were saying, you know, to just mourn in peace and just take time off but then other people are saying like it's important to just stay busy so that you yeah. don't get deep into your thoughts. And lately yeah. we've been like right in between the two, like contemplating if we should work or take time off. Right. And we decided today that we just want to talk to you guys and, and let you guys know what's been going on because uh, I mean like yeah. you never know what's coming in life. It, it, it sucks, it sucks and it hurts. Life is just very unpredictable and it just seems like life gets in the way a lot. And um, we don't want to leave you guys hanging and, and not keep you guys updated. Some of you guys don't follow us on other social media platforms. If you aren't following us, you should follow us so that you guys know what's going on. But yeah, we don't want to leave you guys hanging. And at the same time, I felt like it would be better for us to like share this with you guys and let you guys know how we've been feeling. It's just been rough for us. This past week has been rough for us. It's just crazy how we were just on vacation, just having a great time, and then something so tragic just hits us suddenly, you know, unexpectedly, and now we're here. So 
we've just been trying our best to just stay in great spirits and just, you know. Yeah, I just feel like my chest is literally heavy. Like, there's times yeah. where I feel like I can't even breathe, y'all. Like, it's like crazy, but. Through this entire experience, I even said this to Quan. I feel like people don't speak about death enough. Like, I feel like it's a topic that is very taboo and like people don't really want to think about or talk about or when people bring it up, they're like, oh my gosh, like, don't, don't say something like that or, you know, but it's something that is inevitable and it's something that we really don't know when our time is, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like death is something that should be talked about more than it is yeah. and maybe just maybe it'll make it easier for people to deal with when it comes i'm not sure that it really could because of how i'm feeling right now it's like i don't even think speaking about this would have yeah, made me feel better could, like, really brace you for it yeah until just, it actually comes but i definitely think that it's something that should be spoken about more yeah you know? it's it's a conversation that's like always avoided because people don't want to uh really think that far or accept life for what it is because we all have our date and um just the thought of not being here or the thought of leaving your loved one leaving your loved one or your loved one leaving you is just something that you don't really want to think about but mm -hmm. it's definitely something that people should speak about more besides that i feel like on top of that like more stress yeah there's just been more stress on top of this tragedy that happened in my family like coming home every night after leaving the hospital and stuff like that has just not been making me feel any better like because before we even left on vacation and we even mentioned this to you guys like we completely outgrown this apartment and yeah. it's really been causing so much stress and now more than ever i just i, I just can't take it it doesn't anymore. it doesn't been, feel like home anymore it doesn't at all as you guys know, we've been here for the past few years, and it's just like it's, it's not us no more. It's not for us no more. We we grew out of this apartment completely. And it takes a it takes a toll a on toll us. on you mentally, yeah. and it's just I feel claustrophobic in here, y'all. I feel like I can't even breathe. Like y'all don't even know this, but Quan and I literally don't even want to be here every day. We make sure we're out of the apartment yeah. almost all day every day. It got it got that, it bad. got that bad. It's like yeah. to that point. It's just it doesn't feel like home anymore. It's too small. It's too cluttered. Mm -hmm. And we don't really want to show you guys how it's looking right now because this is not how we live. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so bad to the point that we have to live how we don't usually live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that so it makes, makes you sense. uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable like, you're not because, accustomed to living like Yeah, that. we don't have a choice either because we completely ran out of space yeah. and there's other problems going on in the apartment. Yeah. And like, it's, it's just freaking, like, oh my gosh. First it's of all, just a lot that we've been dealing with. I was going to have us do an entire video just literally showing you guys how we've been living because y'all would. If only y'all know. Like, obviously, it's not the worst living conditions. Of course obviously not. Obviously not. But like, for us, it's like literally, there's times where we're like, for instance, right now, this video that we're filming, we literally had to move stuff in the background out the way yeah. just so y'all don't see, like, the That's clutter. how bad it is. So like, there's things, you know like, hiding in the kitchen right now. That's right. how bad it is. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like We haven't even been able to wash our clothes here in our apartment with the washer and dryer because it literally stopped working. Washer is not working. So we've been going to the laundromat. Had to go to the laundromat. It's just been a, uh, a lot. Though. There's, like, a leak underneath the sink. That no matter that, how many times we ask to No matter how many times we ask to get it fix it, just, it doesn't get something's fixed. wrong with the sink i guess so it's like kind of like constantly like flooding a little bit underneath there and we constantly have to clean it yeah. and you know i know like when water gets like that bad smell it smells like moldy yeah stuff moldy like that. Yeah. you know what i'm saying it's, it's just, just yeah a lot it's a lot man. but it's yeah we're lot. gonna go into more detail so yeah on top of we were already feeling that stress and like that's why Kwan was like looking forward to just getting out of new york for a little bit and you mm -hmm. know getting a little getaway to just relax and like breathe a little bit and we had to come back to True. that and we're feeling the same exact way so we're like we were like okay maybe we just need like a little time away and mm -hmm. to just get out the apartment for a little bit and a different change of scenery but i feel like i felt worse even coming back now yeah. truthfully it's it's horrible i mean we both feel worse because not only are we coming back to this apartment we came back to tragic news and just a complete tragedy overall mm -hmm. and like our whole family is hurting right now so yeah we've been feeling it lately we are still gonna stay mentally strong you know i'm gonna keep rissa uplifted and and mm -hmm. we're gonna get through this together we just want to share this with you guys and let you guys know how we've been feeling i feel like there's an important lesson to learn here also <sighs> yeah uh just don't take life for granted life is short hug your loved ones let them know that you love them just try and cherish every moment 
that you have with the person. It's easy to get caught up in your own life because we yeah. all, you know, we all grow up, we all live our own lives, we start our own families, but it's still important to make that time for your loved ones, you know, and I fortunately am very happy that I was able to spend time with my yeah. cousin recently. We both were. Even. So. We both were, so that makes me feel extremely good. And also with the um, time that you share with your loved ones, keep those as happy moments. Let those moments keep you going, I'll tell the rest of this. Like, let those memories and those special moments be what keeps you going in life and um, hold on to those and remember that person for like all the good and um, all the happy times you guys shared together. <sighs> I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I'm sorry, baby. Okay. You gotta think how that person, like what that person will want you to do. And when times get rough, just, you know, don't give up. With time, things will get better. You know, we are going through it right now, but we're gonna make it through it. And um, also, uh, there's a GoFundMe for uh, Rissa's cousin. Anything will help to help out his family. We're gonna do our part behind closed doors, of course, because that's our family. And um, if you guys would like to donate anything, uh, feel flowers. free. Yeah. yeah, feel free. And uh, again, thank you to those who did donate and uh, embraced us and showed us love and support. And yeah, make I sure you guys, love you guys reached out to Rissa. Like seriously. We love you guys it and appreciate you guys. Me. So although things are extremely tough for us right now, we just wanna let you guys know that we'll be back to smiling and laughing and that joyful content that you guys are used to us putting out. Hopefully soon. Right now we're just taking it day by day and um, we're hurting inside right now. So we just, Want to thank you guys that have been supporting us, and um, we just want you guys to keep our family in your prayers, and we love you guys and appreciate every single one of y'all. Yeah, thank you guys so much yeah. for reaching out and just checking on me because it really means a lot, like more than you guys even know. But yeah, like Juan said, we'll be back hopefully soon. Yeah. And yeah. <sighs> See you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.